the four amigos maiden chase will end day one of the new season then it's a three mile five furlong maiden this time and boomerang a man for ground clip books at the top bryce norton darren thompson dictate ross martin Needham in roller obi-wan firefox paul o'neill harry topper john morgan r ben david hooley san jose optimistic Vinnie Gerard, Solo Blanc, Craig Allen, Banks of the Nile, Leon Van Rensburg, Bella Cheval, James Shea, Dawn of the New Age, Joshua Sutherland, Interim Mount, David Robertson, Serge Stugray, and External Delight for Jim Murray. 15 called in and away, and in this opening day of the season, and so the big guns have been up there, firing with winners, one or two lesser Lights getting to mention as well, and Harry Topper is the early leader, and it's a front running John Morgan horse as they get to the first of 22, which is a big ditch. Uh, they're all safely over it with Harry Topper clear. Oh, well, a good five lengths already as they get to the second, the first of the Greys. External Delight is in second. Jim Murray red sleeves, the red and black hoops. Dornley New Age, Joshua Sutherland is in third as they take. Fence number three, and then we'll safely over that one with a bit of a mistake though. By the Graham Clutterbuck horse Boomerang a Man as they get over number four. And we'll safely over that. We expect these to be pretty decent jumpers, these long distance chases normally are. There's only one race this week over the four miles, so there might be one or two four milers in this. Just having a spin, you know, the handicap mark. And it's Harry Topper. Takes them past the stand for the first of quite a few times, I would think. Three more circuits to go, probably. There's three miles to race, so depending on the size of the track, it'll only be two or three more. We'll know next time round. And Harry Topper will hope to be in the lead as we get a look at them from the stand. Externally, like his second, and then Dawn of the New Age third. Solo Brock has moved through into fourth. And then Bella Cheval with Firefox after that one, and then R. Ben. But it's Harry Topper who gets to the fifth in the lead. Over that one they go once again, <coughs> boomerang a man down on his nose. But Harry Topper has got an undisputed lead over this ditch. Oh, there's a fall of it. San Jose Optimistic is gone, so. The first one to depart the race. With Harry Topper clear by seven. The Great External Delight is second. And Solo Blanc and Dawn of a New Age. Oh, he's gone there. Solo Blanc ran straight into that fence and uh, didn't even take off. I don't think it was a crashing looking fall. And this next one, John Morgan's Harry Topper is going too quick for the cameraman because he's racing away in the lead. These John Morgan horses like to do that. We've already seen one today go off in the lead and crash out and something else that they've started doing over the last few seasons but over well, this next one they go and the remaining runners are all safely over it thanks to the Nile surprisingly at the back but Harry Topper setting the pace and leads by seven lengths to Dawn of the New Age in second and External Delight in third and there's a gap of five then to Firefox who's travelling nicely in fourth then Bella Cheval and Surge after that on with Bryce Norton and the second grace Dictate Ross then comes Interim Mount and then our Ben it reminds us of last Ben from about oh, I don't know seven or eight seasons ago that right horse of Charlie Farthings that every week refuse to race just about every week anyway if they get over the next one just to stand at the start and refuse to go every week but <laughs> it was Harry Topper who was over that one in front Safely over that one as well, with Harry Topper in front by five lengths to Dawn of the New Age and External Delight. They're a simple distance clear of Bella Cheval, who's now fourth. Took them a little bit slowly, though. Surges after that one. Then comes Firefox, who's just dropped back a little bit as they take number 13. And you can see they're going to come past the stand. And this big old galloping track, there will be just one more circuit to go. Harry Topper will be hoping to lead past this post again next time round. You can see him from the top of the stand there. All travelling well. Past the winning post, past the big screens. And 
and then they'll turn left-handed shortly and Harry Topper lead is down to just four now that's as low as it's been for some considerable time external delight and dawn of a new age are going well second and third Gap of eight lengths into the rest of them they're headed by Bella Cheval and then Surge and Firefox and Bryce Norton and Dictate Ross and R. Ben and Injury Mount and a little gap to the back to Boomerang Arman and Banks of the Norrell and then in Roller who's just a little bit further behind still so as they get to the next see them all over that one with Harry Topper's lead no more than two and a half now a similar distance up Dawn of the New Age on external delight as they take that next one was the jockey just giving Harry Topper a bit of a breather was kicking on again now opened up by four again to the 16th. Oh, I'll well, stay over that one with Harry Topper leading by three or four to Dawn of the New Age second. Externally like third. Five Foxes now moving closer in fourth. Also, Surge is running on well for Stu Gray. Bit of a gap then back to interim man. Bryce Norton is next then. Bella Cheval, the second grade dictate. Ross, who stays forever, is trying to get going as well. They take the 18th mistake there by Firefox just as he was starting to make a bit of a move. And suddenly they're beginning to merge into one big group. And Harry Topper's lead is no more than two lengths to Dawn of the New Age in second. Look at this interim man round the outside, creeping into it, going extremely well. Also, Bryce Norton has burst through as well. It's a wide open race now this one but Harry Topper still yet to be headed it's Harry Topper in the lead and Banks of the Nile crept through from absolutely nowhere it's Harry Topper from Banks of the Nile Bryce Norton is third Dawn of the New Age looks one paced in fourth then external delight surges after that one Firefox is trying to run back on again interim mounts runs petered right out over the 19th they go and over that one Harry Topper still in the lead still got three to take from Banks of the Nile second Bryce Norton third this is the third last over that one they go and it's Harry Topper who's still in front Harry Topper from Bryce Norton then comes Banks of the Nile Dawn of the New Age trying to run again then comes Surge after that one and also Firefox they coming down towards the second last and over that one they go and Harry Topper is still in front now Dawn of the New Age looks to be the big challenge as they take the final fence but it's Harry Topper who's still in front Harry Topper with a fur on the go Harry Topper still too clear of Dawn of the New Age in second Dicto Ross has gone at the back but it's Harry Topper who's pulling away again and well inside the final half foot on there Harry Topper pillar to post win John Morgan has got himself another good one and racing up towards the line it's a, probably a seven length win for Harry Topper Dawn the new age sticking on for second, then Banks and North, third, Bryce Norton, fourth, external delight, fifth, then Surge and Arben and Firefox and Boomerang on. And all the way back to Enroller. And Harry Topper looked like he was coming back to the pack a couple of times, but kicked on again and took that pretty impressively for John Morgan. Dawn of a new age, Joshua Sullivan was second. Banks of a Nile, Leon Van Rensburg third, Bryce Norton for Darren Thompson fourth, external delight for Jim Murray was fifth, and Stu Gray, or Surge was sixth, and Stu Gray will be kicking off day two for you tomorrow in the second day of this new S07 season.